Here's a Portland State University holding an emergency meeting over the weekend to decide the fate of its president. Ramat Sharishi faces accusations that include mistreating staff and misleading the Board of Trustees. Lisa Balick digging deeper. She joins us from the PSU campus. Well, the investigation is definitely having an impact on students here, the 28,000 students here at PSU. In fact, a faculty member walking by just told me some of her students were talking about it, saying they are worried about the impact on their degree, how the school is viewed when there's trouble at the top. The Portland State University president is facing accusations of not being honest with the Board of Trustees, deleting emails that were public record, and not treating his staff respectfully. He was offered an option to resign last fall and said no. The PSU Board of Trustees started an investigation looking into Shireshi's actions while president. Before being named president of PSU in 2017, he was in New York as interim president at New York Institute of Technology. He has a doctorate in engineering from MIT. I reached out to PSU and Shireshi's attorney, but no one is commenting. Some students did want to talk about the president wanting more money since he's been here and the allegations. This is Portland State. It's a state school. You're not at Harvard or Yale. You know, be happy with what you have. I think it's something where he needed a lot more oversight. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now we're getting that a little too late. In terms of? In terms of just making sure that he was, uh, you know, spending the money properly and, uh, and conducting himself properly, treating everybody with respect. Governor Kate Brown appoints the trustees to the PSU board. It's a public university funded by taxpayer dollars. In a statement today, her office says, quote, the governor has been monitoring the situation at PSU closely, and she expects the board to resolve this situation quickly and take appropriate action. Keep in mind, Shureshi has a five-year contract, the annual compensation close to three-quarters of a million dollars, and he could possibly get hundreds of thousands of dollars in severance if fired. Now, the State Ethics Commission is also looking into whether it will start its own investigation into the president's actions. Meanwhile, that emergency board meeting, it will be at 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. Pretty unusual. We'll keep you posted. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News. Yeah, do that, Lisa. Thank you. And in